Hi guys, it's Lily. Um, it's been a little while and I'm sorry that I've been quiet. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on, you know, that boring, stressful stuff, part of being a grown-up. Um, so I've not had a chance to do any videos. So I thought I would grab a little bit of quiet time and uh, I'll make a good video for you guys. So, um... I hope you're all doing well and uh, stuff. <laughs> um, let's just get on with it, shall we? Um, I had some time today to play around with some things um, and these are what I came up with. I'm trying to get some decent light. I'm not sure if that's really... Mm. Right, okay, well, glare is better than shadow, I think. Um, so this is what I made. Um, what I was looking at was the acrylic painted backgrounds that I'd done a little while ago. Um, I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do with them. I knew that I wanted to make them into a book of some kind so I could use them as background paper. Um, but that's as far as I got. So, um, I've been using these plastic dividers um, for making my stencils. Um, if you've seen my previous video on my stencils, um, I have started selling them. So if you're interested, then uh, email me and um, my email will be in the description box below. Um, because I am selling them but the the coloured plastic um, that I use for mine is not as strong as the stuff that I'm using for um, ones that people buy so if you buy some and they're white which they will be if you buy some stencils from me that is because you are getting a thicker grade of um, plastic than what I use for mine and for my prototypes. So there we go, in case you're wondering. Um, so anyway, I used um, one of these, you can see it's just a, a file um, divider that you clip into your ring binder. Um, I used that as the cover I used my uh, bind it all. You can just see I made the holes with that. Um, and originally I, I did put the coils in it and I decided that I didn't like it with the coils in. I need to put a little bit of glue to stop this from unraveling. So I took the coils out and I just laced it with this bright pretty thread but I used the the binder to make the holes and that's what I'm keeping these funky backgrounds in that I did show you before I've started playing around in some of them um, I drew her earlier so I've just put them all into this little booklet and I will carry on doing what I did here um, using stencils and paint and pencil and stuff um, to make a little art book, I suppose. Um, so that's like the, the bright coloured ones. Um, and this one, as you may know by now, purple is my favourite colour. But these are the sort of muted... Uh, pastels I suppose. They're pretty and I tried to make it so that I could use it as a double page spread if I wanted to so that both pages matched. Um, didn't always work out obviously those two colourways don't go but um, for the most part both sides are complementary shall we say. So um, that's what I've done with that, and the plan is to 
like I said, to draw and paint on them. Um, I've been using the Dilutions paint a lot. I absolutely adore it. Um, I, I suggest if you don't already own it, then you really ought to buy the, the Dilutions paint um, because it's fantastic. Um, even if I'm not using it um, for backgrounds or whatever, this white one, um, I use a lot, if I just find that picture again, the white that you see there is this paint. Um, I used my fingers and I also use for the, um, for the catch light in her eyes, I use one of these, glue spreader, and I use the very top, a little tip, some, yeah, that bit, and I just dip it in the lid of the paint, um, and I use that, and the, like the planes of colour, like down here, the plane of the white, is using this end, oh, it might help if you could see it, like, like that, and then smudging it out with my fingers. Um, I found that works really well, so if you want to um, find a way of doing little tiny catch lights in eyes of things that you draw, um, I recommend using a glue spreader. Just one of those little tips there. Um, and the other thing I did as well is I reorganised um, my pencil case. I had a pile um, sat over here of the things I was using most for sketching with. Um, and what I was using mostly in my um, art journal, which I'll show you in a minute. And they were just just out on my desk um, and it was driving me crazy I needed something to put it in so um, I was looking around I was actually looking on um, Amazon um, at the pencil rolls you know the, the big long um, I have one actually that I'm using for something else and I thought oh I could get another one of those and then I thought hang on a second I can use this. Um, this pencil case is, was a gift um, from a lovely lady called Charlene and she sent it to me all the way from America. Um, she did send it with goodies in it and up until earlier today the goodies were living in this pencil case. So um, I found homes, new homes for the goodies um, and I am now using this as my, um, my sketching art pencil case. Um, I have my Kipling 100 case, which has got loads of stuff in it. Um, it's so full, actually, I need to go through it and, and move stuff around because I can't actually zip it closed anymore. Um, but this is specifically for, um sketching and for using with this which is my little tiny art journal um, I'm about halfway through it actually I will show you that later um, so as I said the lovely Charlene sent me this and it's purple um, which is awesome and it's got the, the little um, clippies on here so you could clip it into a ring binder which I think is pretty awesome um, I'll just show you what I've got in here um, so it's got a little um, mesh pocket and then it's got a little flap with um, pen loops and then you've got a bottom bit as well um, I've bought a new pencil sharpener that I'm going to specifically keep in here. Um, so that will go in um, this bit down here. 
um, and I've got some more of these. I absolutely adore this pencil. I did show it to you in my last haul video. It's the Stabilo All. Um, this is fantastic. I have been drawing with this a load. Um, and it is um, water soluble as well. So you can use it with, um, with water, obviously. Um, you can write on paper, glass, plastic and metal with it. Um, I've been using this with my acrylic paints, um, both the dilutions and um, just my ordinary ones that I've got, um, because obviously acrylic paint is, is basically plastic, so um, this has been working fantastically. I've got a white one and a red one um, winging their way to me from Amazon at the moment, um, so I'm looking forward to that, so I've got some space in here to put those two um, as well, just an ordinary um, school pencil. For quick sketching, and then I've got my Pentel Aqua Brushes, um, which I have been using a lot with the Stabilo 4 pencil. Um, especially this no, not that one. Especially this one, she says, and it's not actually that one. Must have put the wrong... That's why I've put the wrong um, lid on it. That's why I'm getting confused. Right, I was right the first time. Because this one, um, which is the finest one, works really well if you write with this. Um, then you can go over it with, with that and uh, it comes out very well. So that's what I've been doing. So I've got that in there. Um, on the little um, loops I've got a Papermate Ink Joy because they work really wonderfully um, for writing. Um, I've got just an ordinary fine liner and they're a little temperamental but for the most part they do work on acrylic paint. I have a Papermate Flare in black which I use a lot and again that tends to cover, it doesn't give full coverage on acrylic paint but it will cover to a certain extent. I have a Uniball Signo in silver and a Uniball Signo in white. I actually had to get another one of these because I actually went through a whole pen. Um, which just goes to show you that they are awesome pens and if you don't have one you really need to buy one because I've actually gone through one and a half by uh, looking at that. And then in the bottom got another spare fine liner. I've got a uni paint marker in gold and then I have got four alcohol markers um, and these came from the works.co.uk um, and it's got a hang on like a fine tip which has been mashed through stencils and stuff. I need to get another one. And a chisel tip. So that's what they look like. Um, so I have the black one in there. I have um, this one which is called Skin White. It's number 131. Um, I love this for, for skin coloured. Um, or skin colouring on either stamps or um, drawings or, or whatever, um, it gives a really good coverage but it gives quite a, a true to life colour as well. Um, I also have uh, 139 which is flesh and that's the one I use for um, highlighting sort of cheek areas 
and this one which is WG1 Warm Grey which I use for um, shading and shadows on faces well, on everything really um, so I'm going to have um, a pencil sharpener in here which will be specifically for my all pencils um, I won't use it on anything else it's a Derwent one I'm hoping that it will be a good one it will be a good quality because um, like I said I bought it specifically for these awesome pencils so thank you so much Charlene I did say thank you um, several times I know when you did send me the, the goodies that came in it um, but now I have put it to even better use um, I will be using this every day probably um, so that is my little sketching kit and now it's all in one place and it's not all over my desk I can unzip it, I can see it, I can grab it and I can put it away <laughs> that's the bit I haven't been doing, I haven't been putting it away um, so yeah that is um, some of what I have been doing um, I will show you the inside of the um, little art journal book that I just teased you with but I'm going to do that in another video um, I'll do a specific video just for showing you this um, so on that note I will um, I will leave it there and I will start filming um, showing you the uh, things I've been up to in here um, thank you for staying tuned thank you for watching my videos um, and subscribing and um, just generally being awesome. <laughs> um, I look forward to seeing um, any comments or anything that you leave me. I always love hearing from you guys. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Um, it's about nine o'clock in the evening, so um, I don't know what time it is where you are, and it won't be that time when I upload this video. Um, but I'm wishing you a uh, a good evening and a peaceful night's sleep. Bye guys.